Today I am drinking Citizen Cider from Vermont. It's called the Dirty Mayor, but I also like that it visualizes the data on the back and tells me it's a little on the sweet side, which I enjoy. And I am going to be drinking Wild Thing by Artifact from Florence, Massachusetts. It's got trees, it's green, seemed appropriate. It also has data visualization on the back. Hey, I'm Rachel. And I'm Will. And we're back to talk to you today about green jobs. Hey Will, did you know that last year there were nearly 300,000 green job postings and that green employment is poised to grow 5.7% in the next five years? Actually, I did. With the passage of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, we can expect a renewed push towards a greener economy. But what does that actually mean for the job market? How do we know where to look and who to look for when it comes to staffing green jobs? As part of Working Nation's Green Jobs Now campaign, we've been working to both define and quantify the green workforce. You probably get a certain picture in your mind when you hear the phrase green job. Maybe a solar installer or engineer working on wind turbines. While it is true that both of those occupations would be considered green, there is far more to the green workforce. A much wider range of jobs will require workers to have green skills like knowledge of home energy efficiency. Think of all the workers who are going to have to install and repair energy efficient appliances, service electric vehicles, or program the software that will make these advances possible. In addition, Sorry. This is okay. <laughs> I was just gonna like. I was like oh, starting to run. I was like, was in addition, there are all the workers at companies that are part of the green economy who work in service of the green cause. These are the accountants, the warehouse workers, on and on. Taking this broad view of green jobs, we find that in 2021 there were almost 300,000 job postings for positions in the green economy, a 35% increase over 2020. Did you know that green jobs can be found across over 600 occupations? This corresponds to more than one million million employed workers. As more workers are needed to fill green economy roles, it is important to think about how workers in non-green jobs can transition to fill these open and often lucrative green job openings. That would include current workers in manufacturing and production, sales, or construction, just to name a few. These potential green workers can serve as a large talent pool that employers can tap. These workers would require little training and could be redeployed into green jobs quickly. Cheers. How many green jobs might there be in five years? We expect openings on the order of 317,000 in 2026, maybe more with the passage of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. So what should we do? Between now and then, training providers could think about ways to reskill existing workers. Employers, they can look for existing pools of talent they could redeploy. And workers, they can seek out green jobs and the green skills they need to qualify for those positions. If the future is green, then maybe worker skills should be too. Signing off for MZ Burning Glass, I'm Will. And I'm Rachel. If you want more information on green jobs in the green economy, check out the link here. Cheers. Cheers and happy Friday. <laughs>